Hey YouTubers, welcome. Uh, today we're gonna check out Yiga. Um, brand spanking new game. Um, it's about basically about a Russian folklore. Uh, so I'm really excited. Well met, my dears. Well met indeed. What brings you here? Your counsel I need. Yaga the bony, Yaga the great. You want to manipulate the Tsar's fate. Upon his throne, I will bestow a fate of sorrow, bad luck, and woe. The rightful Tsar had failed my test. He was unkind, just like the rest. He said to me, leave, ugly hag, when all I did was ask for bread. And as his guards drove me away, I laid my curse, and he heard me say, oh, I shall leave, but hear this from me. How you'll treat others, treated you'll be. The one who is cursed with dreadful luck will be around when your throne turns to muck. But if you kill him by your own command, all of your tsardom will turn into sand. <laughs> so ever since then, he searched every day to find the unlucky one and send him away. And now he's found him. A man with no charm. Ivan the blacksmith, who's missing an arm. Yaga, our friend, we lend you our skill. Ivan, we shall use. To fulfill your will. Blacksmith? Okay, so the Tsar found me. You work in the village, and people say you are followed by bad luck. Broken swords, bent nails, splintered helmets, crumbled wheels. Everything you create shatters to dust, and you bring misfortune upon us all. One day, I was at home with my papa, and she said to me, Oh, Ivan, my needles broke again. Would you make your poor old grandma some new ones? Sure, Baba. I'll make you a couple so strong you'll be able to weave chains with them. I just need to find some enchanted iron. Be careful, Ivan. Do not worry. If there's misfortune in the world, I haven't met it yet. Oh, and if you're out there, see if you can find yourself a wife. Later that day, I was going through a beautiful forest. Little did I know what would follow. My way was blocked. I had to smash through using my hammer. I had to go through some thorny spikes. I quickly rolled through them 
to avoid hurting myself. Wild animals were upon me. I got ready for the fight. Okay. I'm So the controls are pretty easy right now, so far, so that's a good sign. Uh, let's see this up here. Nothing. Tired from the fight, I approached a cl Tired from the fight, I approached a clearing. Bad fate was waiting for me there. What brings you here to Nico's place? I left my grandma at the door to go and find some magic ore. You seek magic? Are you stuck? How do you feel about your luck? Bad luck? I think that's just entails. Hard work and patience never fails. Uh, a non-believer, then. I see. Looks like the fate is kind with me. Come now with me, before you're thinner. You're just in time to be my dinner. <laughs> okay, so the the rhymes and stuff, that's pretty awesome. Uh, looks like she wants to eat me. <laughs> okay. I have to eat now, it is late. And I will have you on my plate. Now you know, bad luck is real. It is my name, <laughs> and you're my meal. I had grown tired from the fight. I swung my hammer with my might. And when I nearly hit her head, she laughed at me, and it broke instead. So I just ran. I ran away. I had no time to stop and pray. And in my path fixed in a tree, a golden axe was there for me. But as I grabbed and said, what luck, I realized my hand was stuck. And then she raised her deadly knife and tried to rob me of my life. But as she swung with evil charm, I moved aside and she chopped my arm. She grabbed it and she said, how sweet. And so I got up on my feet. I started running, dripping blood. Well, not a drip, it was a flood. But right behind I heard a crash, and then I fell down with a splash. As I blacked out, I heard a shout. This one is mine now, you get out! Next thing I know, I was awake, back in the village with great ache. That is a sad tale indeed, but it just proves you have bad luck. For this, I should banish you, send you away, and forbid you to return. But I am not unkind. Instead, I will give you a chance to bring me something precious and clear your name. Go far away, wherever you may, and bring me back strength beyond measure. But return without it, and my guards will just drive you away. To go far away, I will need some kopecks for my travels. Kopecks? Very well, I am not unkind. Here, use these wisely. Go now! Return only when you can give me strength beyond measure. Okay. 
I just killed a chicken. Eva, my dear boy, I heard what happened. That wretched sir sending my boy away. Instead of finding a wife, what will you do, Ivan? I already have strength beyond measure. Mine! Now I only need to find some for the Tsar. <laughs> I'll do that in no time. Oh, Ivan, you kind fool. Listen, I know of a tale, a story long lost. An apple that makes you strong as an ox. I think you could take that fruit to the Tsar. Yaga knows about it and she's never far. How can an apple give strength? Yes, Ivan. A golden apple. Picked when it is ripe straight from the branch. Only one apple ripens every seven years. Maybe it is time now. Baba Yaga will know. Find her and she will tell you. The powerful witch deep in the forest. Her house sits on a chicken leg. I'll tell you an old poem about her. At night in the forest, you should be afraid. Yaga is there, caressing her braid. In front of her house, there's a skull on a spike. No stories about her are ever alike. Sometimes she gives you advice and some magic. Sometimes you're pushed in the oven. How tragic. She will give you good advice if you find her. I will go to Baba Yaga. Wish me well. I am glad you are listening, but I hope you do not want to go empty-handed. She will need a gift when you meet her. It is said the best gift for her is a wormy bone and a cloth with a poor man's sweat. Ooh, where can I find a wormy bone? The graveyard, of course. But don't go digging there yourself. Talk to the undertaker. He must have some bones from old graves he cleaned up. The sweat of a poor man. Yes, that one is easy. Talk to the hay farmer behind the church. He's the poorest peasant in the village, him and his brother. I will go to them, Baba, and ask for their help. Take some Kopex with you. It's not much, but it's what I can give. Now go, Ivan. Help them if they need. Then return to me before you go. I have more to tell you. I want to see you back and wed, not cold and dead. Before you leave, you should go to your anvil and make some weapons. You will need them in your journey. Oh, and while you're out there, see if you can find yourself a wife. All right, so I got a bunch of tasks. Um... Okay, minimap is not working yet.
greetings. Uh, interested in some talismans? <laughs> Here's what I have for you today. Greetings. Uh, interested in some talismans? <laughs> Pleasure doing the business, sir. Blacksmith, do you need a blessing before you go? What kind of blessings would you like? Be blessed, blacksmith. No, not yet. Deal. <laughs> Take it. Hey, I'd pick a bottle of wine over that any day. Hey, wine is for weak men. No, you don't know what you're missing out on, mate. I'm the one who doesn't, eh? <laughs> Seriously, now. <laughs> Life is hard, <laughs> but the cows are happy. <laughs> Good day, Ivan. I was just thinking about you. My spade is worse with every grave I dig. The blade has gotten blunt as a wooden spoon, and you can't really dig graves with a spoon, can you? Can you help me out, blacksmith? Of course. I'll just hammer it a bit. Oh, great. Let's see the blacksmith at work. The spade is much better now. It will still dig some graves. Now that you've helped me, is there anything I can help you with? Yes, wormy bone. I need a bone, rotten and filled with worms. Do you have something like that? Oh, I always end up with a few of these in my pockets. Here, take this one. It's too hard to crack, so you can have it. Thanks, Ivan. Alright, so I got a wormy bone. Now I need... I need... I forgot. Uh, something poor man's hand or something, right? I gotta find a farmer. Maybe this guy? Maybe not. They stole my coffin lid. I can't live well nor die well in this village. Who were they? Do you think I would still be out here if I knew? Why does it say, rest in peace on my grave, if I'm not even allowed to do that? Why can't the dead simply stay dead? <laughs> Maybe it's this guy, lazy farmer, or a poor man, something. Ivan, have you seen yep, my brother? 
he was to sell my hay. Two days, and no word. I do hope he's not drinking the money again, the fool. To who? Winter is almost here, and we need food. But why didn't you sell it yourself? A brother always gets a better bargain. Good with words, he is. If I find him, will you give me that red cloth on your head? This? It keeps sweat out of my eyes. But I will give it to you. I'll look for him, but where should I start? Oh, thank you, Ivan. The market is near some farms. He can't be far. I think I know where it's at. Man, it is a shame I lost my hand. <laughs> is the real deal? <laughs> Take it! I'd pick a bottle of wine over that any day. <laughs> wine is for weak men. No, you don't know what you're missing out on, mate. I'm the one who doesn't, eh? <laughs> Seriously, now. Maybe that's not him. Eh, take, take a, eh, wine is for... No, I'm the one who doesn't, eh? Okay, I'll shoot. him near the farms. Godspeed, Ivan. Farms. I don't see many more farms. And there's no map yet. Have any tips, bird?
Do you have any tips, bird? Ah! This is the road back home. I think I looked basically everywhere. Sick of grandma. Do you have the gifts ready for Papa Yak? Did you get a wormy bone and a cloth with a poor man's sweat? Tell me again, Baba. Where do I find them? Oh, Ivan. Talk to the undertaker in the cemetery for the bone, and the poor hay farmer for his sweat. He's behind the church. Now go, Ivan. Help them if they need. Then return to me before you go. I have more to tell you. I want to see you back and wed, not cold and dead. Oh, and while you're out there, See if you can find yourself a wife. Interested in some talismans? <laughs> Tell me, dear blacksmith, how is your arm? Do you want some magic? Maybe a charm? What blessings do you need, blacksmith? Green Emperor is my one true liege. Then I order you, in his name, to forge 1,000 swords for the battle ahead. Of course, right after I take back this coffin lid you stole. Hey! That was our castle bridge! Not anymore. I have to return it to its owner. belongs to you. My lead, tell me the truth, neighbor. You stole it. After all I've done, you accuse me? A village of greedy thieves, down to the last one. Be gone! Good. A village of greedy thieves, down to the last one. Be gone! Life is hard. 
<laughs> but the cows are happy. Okay, I guess I will leave. Because I don't think the brother's here. Don't look good for him. Where is Ivan going now? The heat is unbearable! Okay, so I was supposed to leave, so that's good. Of body parts, okay. Okay, now I got map. Okay, so that's my map. Here's a farmer. Praise be upon you, traveler. Listen to this old priest, and I will reward you handsomely. You, a priest? You surely ate sour hay. One of us must be crazy, and I'm sure it's not me. Don't let my hooves fool you. I'm as surely a priest as the sky is blue and grass is green. I was just punished a bit. Who punished you? Why, God himself. You see, I was blinded by the devil who fogged my eyes with greed. In a moment of weakness, I took to impersonating a goat devil to earn myself a fortune. What happened next? I managed to get my hooves on the fortune, but it came with a price. God punished me for my lapse in judgment and made my costume into a skin. Soon after, my wife found no more use in keeping me around and sold me to this crazy shepherd. You seem to have redeemed yourself. I'll help you get out of this pain. I'll be your most faithful companion. I'll carry things for you. I'll ram your enemies in combat. I'll use my priestly blessings to heal you 
anything. Just get me out of this pen somehow. I beg of you. I'm not promising anything just yet. <laughs> Fancy some cheese, traveller? I'd rather we talk about your goats. What of them? Have you lost your hearing? The black goat is obviously a man. It can speak. You need to free him at once. What do you mean? All of my goats can talk. I see. The black one. What do you want for it? Oh, you must be mad. The black one's useless. She barely gives any milk at all. Still, I'll not part with it for just any amount of Copex. However, if you prefer a job instead, get rid of the Roman bandits nearby, and I'll give you the goat. Sounds like fair deal. Bandits, you say? Never mind the goat. I'll have to deal with them. The Tsar's land is no place for bandits. Crap. What will Ivan do now? I've rid you of the bandits, now give me that goat. Huh. I can finally rest easy, knowing my goats are safe. Here's your reward. Got the goat. <laughs> my instincts were right. Oh, great. You are as foolish as you look. Good luck catching me. <laughs> Things don't look good for him. Where is Ivan going now?
The heat is unbearable. Body parts, okay. Hello, traveller. You are in luck. You find yourself in the company of a mind reader. You should take advantage of this. Mind reader? You? Oh, yes indeed. I will prove it right now. Think of a word and I will read your mind. Think of books. Huh. Done. What did I think of? You thought about gold. I'm afraid you need to practice a bit more. Oh, my brothers were right. I'm just a fraud. Could you please tell them they were right? I can't bear such shame myself. If you find them, tell of our meeting. They must be somewhere around here. Yeah, oh, of course. Here are some Copex for your help. All right.
I'm in great need. Alright, well that was worth it. Must have used it to defend himself. I might find a use for it. Praise be your soul! So glad our paths have crossed, dearest blacksmith! I thought I was doomed! My brother must be worried sick for me! How did you end up tied to a tree? Oh, I sold all my brother's hay at the market. But a band of thieves cornered me and robbed me blind on my way home. Be kind, don't leave me here. Set me free, I beg you! Right away. Oh, bless your soul, Ivan. Oh, although I, I would have one more thing to ask of you, if I may dare. Ooh, well, me and my brother, um, we are in terrible need of those kopecks. Without them, we'll barely make it through the winter. Dearest blacksmith, if you could be able to get my kopecks back from the bandits, we would be forever in your debt. They must have a camp not far from here. Well then, come help me. Oh, why, dearest blacksmith, I would gladly assist you. Uh, alas, I'm not much of a fighter. Uh, my weapons are my words, and my words alone. Worry not. Leave it all to me. You should find uh, about a hundred kopecks. Good luck. All right, found his brother. Now I gotta kill the bandits. Whoa. This chain could be useful. Let's see. Oh, you're kidding me. This is awesome. Now I can grapple across. I can grapple that boulder and jump across. Uh, let's how? that boulder and jump across. I can grapple that boulder. 
boulder and Right there. What do you want? You stole the poor man's hard-earned money. Give it back. We stole what? We are the ones who were robbed. We're outlaws, all right, but we don't pick on the simple folk. Now leave us be, or we'll teach you a lesson. No need for that. I shall be on my way. Wise choice. So, who's lying? Let us know how it goes. We've had a bet going on with him. <laughs> he asked me to find you. Oh, and did he read your mind? Shame on you for mocking him. At least he's found a passion. Who are you to tell us how to treat our brother? We'll fight you for this.
find them, tell of our meeting. They must be somewhere around here. They're dead. Alright, so I think I explored everywhere. So, go back, <coughs> go back to the village. Wait a minute, how do I go back? Ivan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? Something strong, something shiny. Um, that's a lot of money. Let's just do a surprise me. Freak me! What? Oh, I don't have ten bones. That's why. Um, huh? Never mind. For now. This is the road back home. Yes. All right, so I need to find the hay guy. Well, ah, what of my brother? Your brother was robbed by bandits, but he's safe now. Oh, dear me. What about the Copex? Why you sure? It was too risky. Outmatched in strength and number I was. Regardless, 
Thank you, Ivan. I will not forget this. And here is my sweat rag. Be careful, it is wet. Do you have the gifts ready for Papa Yak? Did you get a wormy bone and a cloth with a poor man's sweat? I got both of them. I am ready to go to Baba Yaga now. Wish me well, Grandma. Then go to the forest to find Baba Yaga. She will help you. Do what she asks, as she knows what's right. Travel well, my boy. Oh, and while you're out there, see if you can find yourself a wife. Alright, Baba Yaga and wife. 